I really wanted to like this. Hello everyone, I'd wanted to run off a very quick video about something. I've just started another series on the channel called Identity Parade, where I look at some of my favourite characters and people and places and stuff like that. The one I've uploaded first is for the character from System Shock, a villain called Shodan. She wasn't my original intended debut character though. I was actually going to go with Marvel's Squirrel Girl. I was going to pick her on the back of the fact that as part of the all new, all different Marvel branding, she ha now has a leading signature series uh, written by a guy called Ryan North, who is a Canadian comic book creator, famous well, okay, not famous, but noted for creating a series called Dinosaur Comics Online. Squirrel Girl is one of those characters that I've always kind of been aware of, but I've never actually had an opportunity to read anything she's been in. She was created in 1990. Um, one of her creators was Steve Ditko. You may not know his name off the top of your head, but he created Spider-Man with Stan Lee. So in terms of pedigree, Squirrel Girl might be ridiculous, but she's ridiculous with some measure of weight. One reason I love Marvel over DC is because Marvel seems a little more fearless in terms of exploring bizarre concept for its superheroes. She has the powers and abilities of a squirrel, which sounds ridiculous, but let's be fair, in terms of evolution, squirrels are very good at what they do. They're agile, they can be very quick, they've got claws, they cooperate fantastically in groups. These are all things which come together in the character of Doreen Green, and it's that level of ridiculousness that's also kind of spot on that really appeals to me. So, I should love this character, and I should definitely love her in a modern book. But, this thing is practically unreadable as far as I'm concerned. It is obnoxious and smug. I'm often loath to use it as a pejorative, but this is Marvel as done through the lens of hipsters. This is hipster Marvel. The artwork is great, it's a really good looking book, but it's just so pleased with itself. It smashes the 4-4 every turn. Deadpool does that. Deadpool's funny. In this, Squirrel Girl has cards, little trading cards, which apparently she got from Deadpool, and that's how she knows how to take on baddies like Whiplash and Craven and Galactus. She takes on Galactus in the most insipid, boring way ever. Squirrel Girl has always been kind of delusional. Back in her first appearance in 1990, she basically forces herself into a team-up with Iron Man. She's a young teenage mutant who decides she wants to be a superhero, so she ends up stalking Iron Man. They both end up in a fight with Doctor Doom. She somehow finds a way to save them both. And he basically fobs her off by saying, oh, well, you know, when you're older, come back. You can talk to Captain America until then. You're an honorary Avenger, blah, 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 blah. Ridiculous. Now she has these cards that somehow she's gotten from Deadpool. She can just do everything. She's fine. She's got access to some of Iron Man's armor. She can talk Craven out of capturing people. It's just, she's, it's not entertaining because... She's so ridiculously self-confident about everything. There's no drama because she can just take care of it. She knows she can take care of it. There's no conflict there. It's just, oh, well, I'm Squirrel Girl, so that clearly means I can do absolutely everything. And then Ryan North is able to make a follow-up on that. That is not interesting. Keeper is a mutant. It's the reason I love the mutants. It's the reason I adore X-Men. It's because... Conflict is interesting. It doesn't mean you have to be po-faced and entirely serious the whole time. But it just doesn't work here because she's not interested because she already has the answers. And the main reason that I do not recommend this book at all, the thing about it which made it almost completely unreadable for me, is the fact that it has these footnotes on pretty much every page which is basically Squirrel Girl and the author commenting on the events, what's basically happening in the story and in through the panels. You are constantly having to stop. The flow of the story is constantly interrupted because you find yourself switching to the bottom of the page to read these single sentences. It completely stutters 
everything. And I was so sick of it before the end. It actively made me not to not want to read the book I was reading. If you're looking at this and if you're thinking, Squirrel Girl, that sounds neat and fun. No, no, it isn't. Stay far away. Marvel doing a lot of really great work at the moment. All new Wolverine. My girl Laura Kinney, X-23, is now the new Wolverine. This is fucking great. No. Frank done. Enjoy the rest of your day, people.